So what have the monks of Scormont Abbey been doing since 1850? See me walking around on the boy A beer o'clock and from Scormont Abbey we have a bottle of Chimay Blue coming in at 9% ABV. Now, Scormont Abbey, um, they set it up in 1850 um, on a plateau of, uh, called Scormont which is near Chimay in Belgium. And they built a monastery, a farm, a brewery, a cheese plant has sort of sprung up from, from the area. Um, and basically what they do is obviously the Trappist monks, this is a Trappist beer, and they're self-sustainable. Self so they make the cheese, they make the products, they make the beer, they sell it to pay their bills. They do not make a profit. Um, so that's how it all comes about. So, without further ado, let's crack this beauty open and get it in the glass and give it a review. And so I've got the Chimay glass there. Now this beer, they sort of say to serve it between 10 and 12 degrees um, I've actually got this at the moment it's about 9 degrees because what I like to do is I like it to um, basically develop as you drink it and also another one is they'll ask you whether you want the grounds with a Chimay now that's poured there without the grounds that's the yeast in the bottom and I actually prefer to have the yeast in the beer so I'll just swill it round like I am now and I'm just going to dump it on top now so that's down to personal preference, what you want to do. Whether you want the yeasty goodness that clouds the beer up or you don't. So first impressions, it's a chestnut brown, lovely chestnut brown in colour. A beautiful one finger off white head. Let's get the aromas. Oh, it's fruits, there's plums, figs, raisins, there's a little bit of yeast there. It's what you're going to expect with a, with a good Trappist dark beer really. Fruits, figs, raisins. Yeah, a bit of plum and a bit of yeastiness. So let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. There's a mild sweetness there. It's yeasty. It's fruity. There's a little bit of spice as well. It sticks to your mouth, it sticks to your gums. This is a very sticky beer. Um, even though it's 9%, believe it or not, it don't feel like a 9% beer. It is smooth. It's like velvet. The spiciness. A little bit of coriander. Coming through on the back end. stickiness of this beer reminds me of, of dates you know they have the sugared dates in the um it's coming like a, a long thin sort of 
pack it. it used to be made out of balsa wood years ago yeah i'm showing my age now um and you should get a little two two pronged plastic fork to pick them up with that's the sort of like the stickiness of this beer the, the sort of the sticky dates the figs um the fruits of this beer it is it's a wonderful sipping beer now this is a great beer if you've got the cheese to go with it um the chamay cheese you know you you're going to have one hell of a night you know sipping away at this indulging in some cheese it'll be absolutely fantastic this is a beer that makes drinking beer great this is a beer that puts a smile on your face you know you haven't just got to drink this beer on a cold winter evening you know you can quite easy like I am now you know it's, a, it's nearly the middle of June and it's a, been a lovely day a lovely evening and I'm just sipping away on this enjoying myself and that's what these beers are all about this is a cracker this is a beer to try before you die and the more it warms up this beer in my hands the better it becomes the smoother it becomes this beer develops as you drink it the flavors tend to smooth out it just becomes this sort of luxurious velvety beer that now just glides over your tongue and slides down your throat uh, it's it's a pure work of art to be honest the Belgians make the best beers in the world that's without doubt you know the complexity of this beer is second to none it is a pleasurable drink even if people don't like dark beers how could you hate this how could you not like this beer it's pleasurable it's great um it's just fantastic this is one to put on your list this is a beer to try before you die go out there get a bottle it's readily available on the internet wherever you go belgium in a box beers of europe um beer hawk wherever you want to go you can pick up a bottle of this chamay pick yourself up a bottle try it see what you think leave me a comment below let me know what you think of this beer give us a big thumbs up if you like the review hit that little bell get notified every time i bring out a new review and of course subscribe to the channel and like i always say beer is the answer but i cannot remember the question thank you for watching good night TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. <laughs>